Hey third graders, today we're going to read a story or um, a passage called The Big Hike. Okay, so before we read today, I want us to go over some vocabulary words. There are only two, and you're going to see those vocabulary words um, in your story today. So let's go over them. So the first one is hike. Do you guys know what a hike is? I'm sure you guys have been on a hike. A hike is to take a long walk in the country for fun or exercise. So the example is we hiked seven miles through the forest. Or maybe you guys say, hey, we went on a hike over the summer in Lake Tahoe. Our second vocabulary word is trail. A trail means to either follow behind or to follow the track up. Or sometimes, if you're hiking, trail also means a path or course through a forest or other rural place. So when you're hiking, you don't just walk randomly around the countryside or in the hills or in the mountains. You follow a trail, and usually it can be paved or somebody has already set a trail. So there's no bushes growing in there. You can actually easily walk through it. So let's read through our story, The Big Hike, and this will be our first read for Monday. So Tamara opened her eyes and jumped out of bed. Most days, she hated getting up early, but today was different. Today, Tamara was wide awake and excited. Today, her family was going on a hike. This was Tamara's first hike. She pulled on her new shoes and tied the laces. Tamara's mother had bought the new shoes just for the hike. They were brown boots. The bottom of the boots was made of rubber and had curves to help Tamara walk on rocky ground. Tamara put on her pants, a shirt, and a big jacket. She was ready to go hiking. Seems like an exciting morning so far. Tamara! Her mother called. Are you ready? Yes, I am, Tamara said. Tamara ran down the stairs. Her mother and her older brother James were there at the bottom. They were all wearing new boots like Tamara's. James was hopping up and down impatiently. Everyone was ready for the hike. Tamara's family got into the car. They drove for two hours until they were far away from the city. Once they left the city and the suburbs, there weren't many buildings beside the road. Instead, there were trees and fields. Tamara saw herds of cows chewing on grass. The road climbed up. They were driving into the mountains. Tamara rolled down her window. The air was cool, and she liked it. It smelled like leaves and flowers. Soon, Tamara's mother parked the car. Are we here? Is this the hike? asked Tamara. Yes, said James. See that trail? That's where we'll start hiking. James had hiked this trail before, and it was one of his favorites. Tamara looked at the trail. It was a dirt path and went into the forest. Tall trees and tiny flowers lined both sides of the path. Tamara, her mother, and her brother began to walk. Butterflies and bumblebees flew over the flowers. At first, the bees made Tamara nervous. But soon she saw that they were more interested in the flowers than they were in her. Tamara's mother talked about the other times the family had gone hiking. James talked about the time he went camping with the Boy Scouts. Tamara wanted to talk, but she felt out of breath. The trail was steep. They had been walking uphill for an hour now, hour by now. Tamara took hold of her mother's hand. I'm tired, she said. Come on, Tamara, said her brother. You can do it. You're 10 years old. That's old enough to hike. Tamara kept going. If her brother said she can do it, Tamara knew she could. James never lied. They kept walking uphill. Tamara looked around at the plants to keep her mind off of how tired she felt. There was green everywhere. 
There were trees with long draping leaves that Tamara had never seen before. She saw a small and furry rabbit by the side of the trail. Tamara gasped with surprise, and the rabbit ran away at the sound. Look, Tamara, her brother called suddenly. The trail had ended. Tamara and her family were at the pool at the bottom of a waterfall. Tamara looked up at the water rushing down at the fishing, fish swimming in the pool. Her mother sat on a rock at the edge of the pool and began to unpack their picnic. There were peanut butter and banana sandwiches, baby carrots, and chocolate chip cookies. Tamara took off her boots and sat on the edge of the rock. As she bit into her sandwich, she dipped her toes in the cool water. Congratulations, Tamara, said her mother. You just finished your first hike. Tamara smiled. She decided that she liked hiking. It's a nice story. Have you guys been on a hike before? Where did you go hiking? And what did you like about it? We're going to do some writing Wednesday on Wednesday, and maybe we, we will write about our hikes.